talking about rights in the military, uh, you know, we 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 uh, we sign up to defend the Constitution, right? And um, so, is it a is it a an illegal order for a commanding officer or for um, somebody superior to say this is a direct order to tell me what happened? when it has to do with you being accused of a crime. When does the right to remain silent come in and where you can refuse to say, I am not going to discuss this. And even if they're saying you are violating a direct order, is that an illegal order? If a commander orders you to tell them what happened, um, you know, with regard to a crime, that's not a lawful order. So if a commander or anyone in the military, not just a commander, anyone in the military is acting in an official capacity, that's the first prong, if they're acting in an official capacity and they ask you a question which could tend to incriminate yourself, then they're required to advise you of your Article 31 Bravo rights, which is essentially the Miranda rights or your right to remain silent. In the military, that's actually broader than it is in the civilian world. And so if a commander says, hey, listen, you popped out on this urinalysis, you're going to freaking tell me exactly what happened. Um, I'm ordering you to tell me that. And if you think that doesn't happen, you're wrong. That absolutely happens. Um, it's, but that's an illegal order. And so you, you can invoke your rights. You don't have to follow that. And if you were to answer that and it gets to a court martial, uh, an attorney would file a motion to suppress that would likely be granted. Uh, but what would likely happen, though, is that that type of a commander would probably get on the witness stand and lie. That's not going to be recorded. It's going to be your word versus his. And they'll probably come back and say you made a, quote, excited utterance and just kind of boarded out what happened, even though that's garbage. And so be really careful, because what is the truth? And what you can prove to be the truth are often different things. It goes back to training day. It's not what you know, it's what you can prove, right? Kind of a famous line from training day. And so if that happens, you don't want to be litigating that six months later in front of a judge and letting a judge decide what happens, you know, and who to believe when you have your CO on one side or first sergeant or sergeant major on one side and then a lance corporal on the other who, you know, who has a now a motive to fabricate because they're charged. So that would clearly be an illegal order. You would not have to follow that, and you can just invoke your rights at that point in time. And again, it goes back to if that happens, when Sergeant Major says, hey, I'm, you need to tell me what the freak happened, and you say, I'm going to invoke my rights, are you going to look guilty? You're damn right you are, right? You're going to look very guilty. But I'd much rather go, I'd always bet, I'd much rather be, look guilty than be found guilty. And they use that a lot in the military because of that command structure to really influence and properly influence um, people to make statements where they otherwise wouldn't. So in the military, we see uh, service members making statements against interest more than any other jurisdiction, I don't want to say the world, but certainly in America because of the influence a, uh, you know, a commander, a regimental commander, a battalion commander, a company commander, sergeant major is going to have over a you know, young service member. Well, it's certainly more uh, intimidating for sure. Without a doubt. Because when Sar because sergeant major never calls, when you get called up to sergeant major's office, nothing good comes from that. If you're a PFC or a Lance Corporal and you're going into see Sergeant Major, you're going to tell them whatever they ask you. But unless if they listen to your advice, I guess, right? So this is that's the reason why I asked the question, you know, so people understand that in the military, you still have rights. And in the military, there are uh, abuses of, um, I guess, powers by those above you. So and to, and to know what your rights are. 